how is it going everybody mr android here and this is the nothing phone one it's one of the most hyped android smartphone and i'm sure a lot of you must have already purchased this beautiful looking smartphone with that being said in today's video i will be showing you 20 plus tips tricks and hidden features that will definitely help you to get most out of your brand new device guys stay tuned and watch this video till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started first things first let me show you how to enable the always on display because it is kind of hidden inside the phone settings and even if you search always on display you won't see any such option so to activate the always on feature you simply need to go inside the display settings then to lock screen here you will find this option that says always show basic info on lock screen it is disabled by default you simply have to turn it on once done now whenever you lock your phone you will get this beautiful looking always on screen that shows you the exact time notifications and the battery percentage next let me show you a couple of home screen customization features if you really want to add some exclusive nothing widgets on your home screen all you have to do is just press and hold and select widgets here if you scroll down you get some exclusive widgets from nothing and they all look really nice on your home screen apart from widgets you also get the option to enlarge specific app icons or folders that you have on your screen let's say if i want to enlarge this folder i simply need to long press and select the enlarge option you can use this feature to highlight some of your favorite application that you use quite often by default the nothing launcher comes with a grid size of 4 by 4 and if you really want to reduce the size of these app icons then you can easily do that by long pressing on the home screen select customization go inside wallpaper and style here if you scroll down you will get the app grid option simply change it to 5x5 this way you can have 5 apps in a row and it saves a lot of your space as well next when you swipe down and open the notification panel even though you get all the useful toggles i would still recommend you to add one more toggle called the extra dim simply tap on this edit icon and drag the extra dim feature to the top now what it does is it dims the screen beyond the minimum brightness this can be extremely useful at nights when you really don't want to disturb anyone around you again a very useful feature and i will highly suggest you to add this extra shortcut in your quick settings next let's talk about one of the unique feature of this device that is the glyph interface if i open my quick settings and long press on the glyph toggle i get right into the glyph menu where i can do a lot of cool things the first option you will see here is you can adjust the brightness of the glyph lights. Then you can change the ringtone. Basically you get 10 ringtones and all of them works really well with the glyph interface. If you want, you can download and add your custom ringtones as well. Not only that, you can also use the glyph light as the charging meter. So whenever you charge your device, you will see the charging meter on the back and you don't have to unlock your phone just to check the battery percentage. Next we have another option called flip to glyph. This basically put your phone in mute when you place your phone on a flat surface like this. We even have the option to schedule the glyph interface. So if you want the lights to turn off during night time, you can easily schedule that as well. Apart from all these cool features, you can also use the glyph interface as a fill light for your camera. So you just need to tap 3 times on the flash icon and it activates the glyph lights on the back. Instead of using a normal flash, I will suggest you to use this glyph lights. It definitely helps you to take better pictures when it is dark. Since we are in the camera, uh, let me quickly show you one more hidden feature. If you go inside the camera settings, here you get this option that says recording light indicator. Once you have turned it on, what it does is, whenever you start recording videos on your phone, you will see a red LED light blinking on the back of your smartphone. Even though this device comes with a 120Hz AMOLED screen, I still feel animations are quite slow. If you really want to reduce the animation speed and make your phone feel faster, all you have to do is go to the settings, about phone, select software info and tap on the build number for 7 times. This will enable the developer options in your phone. Then again go back to the settings, select system and go inside developer options. If you scroll down, you will find something called as animation scale. Make sure you change all the 3 to 0.5x. Once done, now your phone will feel much faster and snappier. Guys, whenever I purchase a brand new smartphone, I always apply this particular setting. So definitely try it out. Next, if you want to change the look of your app icons and want to apply different icon packs that you have downloaded from the Play Store, then you can easily do that by long pressing on the home screen. 
select customization. Here you get the option to change the icon pack. As you can see, I have downloaded some icon packs from the Play Store and I can easily apply them without the need of downloading any third party launcher. Next, if you go inside settings, select display and then select screen timeout. Below you get this option that says screen attention. What it does is, it basically prevents your screen from turning off when you are looking at it. I think it's a very useful feature and I will suggest you to turn it on. By default, if you press and hold the power button, it activates the Google Assistant instead of showing you the power off menu. To fix this, again go to the settings, select apps, then select assistant. Here you will see something called as hold power button for assistant. It is enabled by default, you just need to turn it off. Once done, now whenever you long press the power button, you will get the power off menu. Well, if you want to open any apps in a floating window, just go to the recent apps menu, tap on the app icon, select pop up view. This way you can easily open any app in a pop up window like this. Similarly, if you want to open any app in a split screen view, again go to the recent apps menu and click on split screen view. Now you can select the other app which you would like to open. Next in the settings, if you go inside notifications, you will have this option called notification history. You can enable this feature if you want to keep a track of all the notifications that you receive on your phone. There are times when we remove some important notifications by mistake. In such situations, you can make use of this amazing feature. Once you set up your device, you will not see the battery percentage in the status bar, but you can enable that by going to the battery settings and then turn on this option called battery percentage. Next, let me quickly show you some camera features. By default, this phone only captures up to 12 megapixel photos, but you just need to swipe down and change the resolution to 50 megapixel so that you can take some high quality photos on your phone. Similarly, when you record videos, you also get the option to record videos in 4K resolution. Just tap about to change the video quality. Next, if you click on more, you get various modes. If you want to take macro shots, then you can use macro mode. We also get expert mode that only works for photos. And in expert mode, you can adjust the ISO, white balance and the shutter speed as well. I think the camera features are very limited in this phone and I hope nothing adds some more features for the upcoming updates. So that's it for this video. These are some amazing tips, tricks and hidden features for nothing phone one. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.